just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna pop, pop, turn around, turn around, and dance. I just wanna, I just wanna pop, pop, turn around, turn around, and dance. I just wanna have fun, turn around now, turn around now. I just wanna have fun, turn around now, turn around now. Hi, I'm Jeremy and I'm here with Eugene. Hello. And Susu. Hi. And we're standing in the one plus one better condo unit and we can't wait to check out this retirement heaven. Let's go. We are standing here at the entrance walkway and we know that iPoise is all about the masters of space planning. So tell us about this space. Alright, our clients actually love travelling a lot and they need a lot of space for luggage, right? Mm -hmm. We have actually created a full height cabinet right here to store the luggage. Here? Right here. And behind me is actually for their shoes. Right. And we've actually catered in like a pull-up setting. No, wait. Yeah. Show it to me. Right, so it's actually over here where you can actually just sit down and wear your shoes. This is just part of how we space plan for this area which is very small but we want to cater for many different types of functions. Let us now bring you to the living room! Living room. Wow! Look at that! Where do we start? Okay, we wanted to create a space to have more of the showcase from the client's travel experience. As mentioned, they love to travel a lot. So over here, you can see it's like, this is just part of the many collections. Wow. I, I heard he still has a lot in the warehouse. It's almost like a museum we're stepping into. This was part of a room, but we hacked it open so we can create a very big open space okay. for them to die. Our client actually wanted to do his zoom and things here. Mm. And he wanted the backdrop to be something creative and something unique. Ah. And with his characteristic in it. So this is something we came up with. I'm just so blown away by the masterpieces. The material of the tabletop actually did not come with the full table itself. No. Yeah, this was actually an existing table that we had. Mm -hmm. And it's sentimental and precious to them. Right. But at the same time, it didn't quite fit the theme of the house. One of the things that we did was to propose that we customize the tabletop for them. Okay. To fit right on top of this. Wow, and this I was told is the Sensa countertop. Yes, Sensa by Consentino. A lot of their pieces are one of a kind because it's actually a treated granite. So here you can see that our owners will actually know how to appreciate true art. And now it's time to take a look at the living room! Living room, let's TV go! TV space, whoa! My favourite part of the room. This area, right, we're actually fading out from the fluted panel. Uh-huh. We want to have a bit of a blend of the design flow and you can see we're just gradually fading off. Ah, uh, it's a natural transition. The fluted panel and the laminate behind, they are totally different items. Mm -hmm. We had to do some colour matching over here. And I noticed something dividing the dining and the TV space. Tell us a little bit more. We wanted our client to have more space to show his collection. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we're trying to balance right that the whole place does not look too cluttered like he's living in a cabin with carpentry everywhere. Therefore, we actually came up with this structure right here. We played with the different heights to adjust and suit his collection. We used the powder-coated pole system to actually create that airy look. Perfect idea for a feature. Susu and I are standing in the balcony which they created literally. <gasps> Tell us more. Here originally is the living room space. After hacking open the whole space, we push inside the living room and here we create a balcony slash study. It's not just a place where they do their work, it's also a place where they can relax, look out the window, chill, get a massage. To create the distinction between the living area and the balcony slash study, you've chosen different tiles. Yeah, we used a special mosaic border tile. This one we chose gives more like a rough feel because we believe it can give more vibrance to the space. Yeah, it feels like they're outdoor in nature. 
speaking of materials, we have to talk about this. It's one of the highlights here in the balcony slash study. It's the customized tabletop. Wow, look at that. We went to the Constantino factory together with Slug Client. If you take a closer look at the slab, you see the gold texture. It gives really a water flow vibe. The whole space here is wrapped with wallpaper. You can see the wallpaper is more like a fabric texture. Give this whole space a more like cozy feel. And we're here in the kitchen. There is a backstory to this kitchen island. Initially, the client wants a closed kitchen and we did respect their idea and I erected a wall for them. But here is not a very big space, right? After erecting the wall, we still feel we better go with the open kitchen. So we try to persuade the client. As one of the key elements of their dream house, we managed to integrate the island in. You see the tabletop of the island, it kind of echoes with the backsplash of the kitchen. It gives some very luxurious vibe. And now let's step into the bathroom, share with us the experience they were trying to achieve. Actually, the tiles we picked, the only difference is the color. The texture is same, they are in the same series. During the tiles picking process, owner told us it reminds them of their lovely journey in Italy. So we want to help them keep that kind of nice memory. We use a kind of towel with a mosaic border. In the shower area of the bathroom, you actually created a settee. It's more convenient for them. We have one more space to check out. Let's go. Eugene! Come in. Hello. <laughs> it's so relaxed. <laughs> Welcome to the master bedroom and let's dive into the design. Alright, our clients have a lot of clothes that they want to keep in store. This area here, if you can see actually, it's filled with carpentry. The reason why you're not feeling the weight of it is because of the muted colours that we use. If you realise by now, the whole house is only utilising mostly one to two laminates. This is actually a flow from what you saw outside into this area. And we have created space like this area here, this L-shaped cabinet. We've created some contrast by having a dark laminate in the recessed handle. And that blends with the curved edges of the cabinet. Time to chat with our designers! So, we want to find out first of all, what is your favourite part about this entire project? For me, I like the kitchen most because after handover, my clients told me they are really happy with the decision they made. As I told you before, we erected the wall and they want to close the kitchen. We make it now an open kitchen. This decision actually makes the whole space very airy and spacious. So it also gives me a sense of achievement. You did an entire reconstruction of this unit. Tell us about the journey through that experience. Based on my understanding on the space, I remove all the walls and I do the new layout to maximize the special use for them. And because this is also for their retirement, how do you achieve a design that is timeless. Firstly, you gotta know yourself, right? What you want, what you like. And I think it's very important not to chase after trends. A lot of people like to chase after trends, but trends change. It changes all the time, just like fashion. I think you gotta know what you want, what you like, and you have to be able to articulate that out. This particular client, they love the muted look. They want something that can bring out their character. For me personally, what I always advise clients is to make the house to be more content driven. Meaning to say, whatever that you need to build in, you build in. Everything else, we try to style it in. For example, in this case, behind me, it's a full plain carpentry, but we leave a lot of space for them to fill in their items. And just removing all of these items, right? You replace them with something else, the whole feel changes again. Wow, thanks for inspiring us with all your ideas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Eugene. And Susu! <laughs> Thanks for being so generous with the tips. And if you'd like to find out more, you can contact them. And be sure to catch our next episode as well. My name is Jeremy. See ya!